So as you can tell, we've got the rooftop tent on. We've got a little bit of a structure going. I know I originally said I was gonna build a complete enclosed um, area for this. We still have that in consideration, uh, but we wanted to see how well these uh, aluminum factory tubes would hold up. One of our guys said they, they'd do fine, so we went ahead and have mounted them. And we're still kind of playing with the ideas of what we're going to do. But I did want to go over kind of what we did. Um, some of the issues I ran into when putting these on, it was quickly uh, evident that if you were to push front to back like this, which would simulate driving down the road, these had a little bit more spacing and it would rock back and forth. So I came in and drilled two holes, which has the aluminum on the inside. And I'll show you. That's what one unpainted looks like. Sorry about the lighting right now. And then we bolted it through on the back side. We did that so it basically takes out a lot of the rock. Um, as you can tell, I still haven't finished painting it all. We do gotta pull this back off, paint it all, put it back on, but we wanted to see how it was gonna work. We were able to deploy it, get up in it. It's very sturdy. I'm gonna have to try to figure out another way to add additional uh, mount supports. As you can see, the middle one does not have one but because of these bolts that I put in, it's not moving and it still helps support the weight. It just doesn't uh, provide like a clamp so to stop any type of movement that could come out of that. Um, I will say after putting the tires on, I got to drive it around the other day and test it. I don't have the brakes um, hooked up yet, but it drives fantastic. I was cruising at about 80 miles an hour. It checked very well, no issues, a um, lot less feel of the trailer from the old military tires. Um, as you can tell, they are all terrains that are a little bit smoother instead of this here where every time the, one of these spacings hit, you'd feel it rock. So that has been a great difference. Uh, I still got rid of this equipment and go wait to figure out exactly how much was lost. But from everything I can tell online, it should have been in the ballpark of about 900 to 1,000 pounds just in the military uh, gear that was pulled off from this. One thing I did want to go over was the positioning of the tire. Um, as you can see the track line, if I was going to do it again, I would probably have one inch more added on each side of the axle to bring that tire just a little further out. As you can see how it lines up. Um, when this was hooked up to the Jeep, these do track at almost the exact same distance of the inner side of the Jeep tires. So it will still follow that track line and should follow any track line while off-roading. So that is a good thing. Um, I do still have to take off the center uh, crank, the jack, and we're putting on a standard one. I've got to get in and do that. Um, as of right now, even when this is lowered all the way down, it is sitting just about a quarter of an inch too high to be able to continue using that. So we're going to take that off. Uh, lighting everything else has worked well, but I did want to do that quick walk around with the tent up. I'm not going to go over the tent. There's plenty of reviews on the t uh, tent online, um, but the one let you be able to see what is kind of coming together, and we're going to figure out what our next set of plans are there. All right, for you, those of you guys that are like me and don't want to be restrained just to having a rooftop tent on top of a trailer or even having a complete bed rack on the back of the Jeep, this was a solution I had kind of found. I did find a picture of it in a uh, Toyota Tacoma and kind of decided to duplicate it myself. I changed it up a little bit from what Toyota had, but we decided to make these uh, running bars. And I've got another video that goes over these, but using two by three inch uh, angle and one inch by two inch square tubing and mounted the two of these. As you can tell, they're at that height where they're not gonna really restrict you using your bed and they're gonna hold a lot of weight. And the idea is that we could take the rooftop tent off of the trailer, stick it on here where it will overstick the back of the truck so we can't put it in the garage, but it would keep the top at about this height right here of the rooftop tent, meaning that we can go into parking decks or anywhere else that it needs. And this just gives us a little bit more option um, of items to do. This also is a way to secure some heavier items if needed. Click on my other video if you want to see a little bit more in depth of how to do that. But that was about, a, I think about a $40 in parts for that.